Hello YouTube! This is going to be my official 2022 setup tour. This has been something that has been asked for for a couple of years. I apologize that I never did an official setup tour, but now that I moved into this new house, I have a office that I really, really enjoy. I decided to clean it up a little bit and show you guys around my stream room. This is the place where I spend majority of my time during the days on my streams playing video games, doing thumbnails, responding to emails, getting in meetings. This is just my favorite spot in my entire house, so I want to give you guys a little tour. Let's do it. Okay, so this is what you see when you first walk in. Uh, you see Obi. <laughs> he, guards my, uh, he guards my setup while I'm gone. I just have a guard cat. Good job, very good boy. But yeah, this is the room. This is a wall that actually is an accent wall that came with the house. Um, the previous owners went ahead and installed this, so it looks super good. I knew the second that I saw it, I had to have this room because I think this wall is super cool. This is my favorite part of my entire setup. My Be The Spark sign means a lot to me. I have, I guess, like the saying behind my brand as Be The Spark that lights a fire and a passion in other people, and that's my goal every day whenever I stream. So there's that sign, and I have got this I got the greenery actually from Ikea. And then next we have the G Fuel fridge that has no G Fuel in it. So <laughs> I'm actually working on getting um, more G Fuel sent to me because I need to fill this up. I just love the cans, so they end up being used way more than anything else. I also am looking to get like just a lowered like platform or something, maybe just like a white platform that it can sit on and maybe go like directly in the middle underneath might be the spark sign. Uh, right now it's just kind of just sitting on the floor. I have my cat tower that my cat never uses anymore so I probably should just take this out. This is uh, the fan that I use. Sometimes it gets pretty stuffy in here having two PCs. So I want to eventually get rid of these because I do think that they're tacky. I wanna get some like floodlights and maybe up the lighting. So feel free to link in the comments if you guys um, have any suggestions for any lighting um, that you guys like. I got these plants. They are fake, so sorry. They're fake. I basically killed all my other house plants because I don't know how to take care of them. I got all three of these from Ikea as well as this uh, cute little stand that they're sitting on. This actually was a, an old chair that I had from college. So it ended up just staying with me with a pillow and then this cute little like throw blanket. This is where I keep all of my G Fuel and some books and just fun things that I guess mean a lot to me so I can go like shelf by shelf. I have my little uh, Darth Vader statue, I've got Grogu. This is an adventure scrapbook for me and my best friend Amy. She basically made it for me and it goes through all of our history of being friends and it's super cute and really adorable and she's awesome. I have little like knickknacks, uh, like Star Wars things kind of everywhere. Another little Grogu and he's sipping on some some soup or some tea or what whatever. <laughs> I also have a Millennium Falcon here. I have this little um, mini handheld Tetris game that I do play sometimes. Let me turn it on. Yeah, so then, well, I can't really do it with one hand, but it's actually super cute, really cool. So it's like a little handheld Tetris. This is a picture of my mama and me. We took this recently. All my books, um, half of these I haven't read. A lot of the ones that I have read are not going to be here. I also have been boozled because we play this sometimes on my stream. Mine's good. Oh no, it's not. Oh no, it's not. Oh no, it's not. Oh no. <laughs> I feel like mine's a good. <laughs> This is where I keep all of my G Fuel. I actually should probably go through and count how many flavors I have of G Fuel because it is a lot um, and this is not all of them. I have some G Fuel randomly around the house whenever I'm making some. This is my G Fuel sign. It's a blue neon sign. I don't have it plugged in right now. I probably should have plugged it in before this, uh, but it's not plugged in. Um, I do have some of my shakers, but majority of my shaker cups are in the kitchen. Thank you. 
And then these shelves, like this has my A Court of Thorns and Roses, and then I have some planners and things like that, different G Fuel things, a sign that says use code Electra, because you definitely should. You should use code Electra to save 10% off G Fuel. Over here, I actually have some fan art and things that I'm gonna be putting up on my walls. So there's this one, there's that one, there's this one that got sent to me. Um, we also have this that my sister-in-law got for me. It's a really sweet quote. And then behind that, okay, so this is one of my actual prized possessions. This is a signed copy of the Force Awakens script. Uh, it's signed by J.J. Abrams, so I won that in a little auction thingy. So eventually that will be put up. I am thinking about figuring out some way to rearrange that here, um, possibly including the fan art and stuff, but I also have eight lightsaber like hooks that I can eventually, like I do want to collect lightsabers. And I think I'm gonna have them going across here and then lighting them all up different colors, maybe like in a rainbow or all one color or just, I don't know, I don't know yet. And then possibly having the signed script up here and then the, maybe fan art over here, or we can figure out something else to do here. I'm not really too sure. And then we get to the desk. So um, this desk is actually from Ikea. Both of these desks together cost less than $400. So I got the tabletop, I got four legs, those legs, and then um, just these drawers. Super, super easy, and I just made it into an L desk. It worked as an L desk before I moved, but then the way that this room is basically formatted, this would have to go in front of that door and that door would not be able to open. So we basically um, had to buy this extra shelf, but it works out because that's where my stream PC is. We have that just sitting on top of here and I put um, an extension cord and things in there underneath and that gives me a little bit like extra room to put my light. This is the selfie light that I have on every single time that I'm streaming so it lights up my face. Um, this is my camera. I use the Sony a6000 with a cam link in order to stream so I just have it on a little tripod that's just right up back here. I also have this camera for my hand cam since Obi comes and lays on me a lot of the times we'll turn on a hand cam just so people can see it. I have my G Fuel. So this one is one of the newer ones that I just got. It is the Sour Cherry Blue Ice flavor. It's like a fusion flavor. This is one of my favorite shakers. I really love the Tall Boys because I drink a lot and I don't like getting and going up whenever I'm streaming. I don't like getting up multiple times to fill up my drink. So I definitely use these a lot of the times. This is one of my computers. This is my streaming PC. And then over here, this is my gaming PC. Um, I can leave the specs in the description if you guys are interested in that. I don't wanna like, you know, waste time and go through all that. So if you guys are interested, it'll be in the description. I have a little USB port here that I use to just plug things in. So this cord charges my G Pro wireless. I use this for my streaming PC. So this is the monitor that I have for my streaming PC as well as this one. So I have two on each side for my streaming PC and then this monitor is actually linked to my gaming PC. I have Discord and Twitch and everything that I need on my streaming PC and I only have OBS and different games on my gaming PC. Just helps out a little bit more so I do everything on this computer and I have a vertical monitor as well because it helps with chat. I actually have my OBS right here, and then I'll have my chat, and then I'll have my activity feed. So I have all of that up on here, and then anything else that I need, if I need to like look anything up in the middle of the stream, then I just do it on that one. I have actually this, which is an SD card reader for this vlog camera. This actually is uh, something that I just got, well, Jake got for me. It's a little mini vacuum, so you just turn it on, and it helps get all of the other hairs and everything that you need. You turn it off and then it honestly kind of fits in nicely. It looks pretty chic, pretty clean. This is my handy dandy uh, stream deck. I got a lot of different things on there. I can change my scenes. I can put um, certain emotes of mine in chat. I can also go into folders and change some different stuff. It's actually really cool everything that you can do with a stream deck. So yeah, that's where I have my stream deck. My mouse pad which is a mouse pad from the mouse pad company it's a different texture i don't know how to explain it but it feels really nice to move your mouse along it and it's it's sort of a little bit more rough but for some reason it works a lot better than normal mouse pads that i've had so 
Also, it just looks really great and it goes perfectly with the colors and stuff that I have. This is a ducky keyboard, it's an 80% keyboard. I used to play a lot of Tetris, so I actually wanted to make sure that I kept these. I know 60% keyboard is a lot of the times what people have, but I wanted the little arrow keys and stuff, so. The keycaps are from Matrix, and I have only one that's actually a rubber keycap, and it's supposed to be V, but I only have the up arrow, so I did it as the up arrow instead of the V. But V is my interact for everything, so. I just have that as my only one that is rubber, so I can basically just find my interact anytime that I need. If I'm like moving my hand around, then I'll always be able to know that like this is home. I also have a Zowie FK1. That's my mouse that I use, and I love it so, so much. This is my scuff controller. I don't really use controller that much anymore, but when I do, I have this. <laughs> and then I have my mouse bungee that I use just to make sure that it doesn't get too crazy or my cord doesn't get stuck on my FK1. This is my GoXLR. I don't know why the colors are not, I, I had them as sort of the similar colors that I have here. It was like, you know, pink and purple and blue, but for some reason, I think it got reset, so now it's just the default colors. This is my G Pro wireless that I use. These are my Biodynamic uh, DT990s. These are super amazing. They work perfectly with my GoXLR. I needed to get a specific type of headphone and these ended up working um, perfectly for me. So these are the headphones that I use. They're very, very comfortable and I can stream and wear them for a very, very long time. These two are the controllers to both of my signs over here. So I just make sure that I have them at any point to turn on and off the signs. I always keep a candle actually next to my desk too. This one is cranberry. Pear Bellini, I like this one a lot. I haven't really used it too much. I'm gonna go light this after this because I should use it more. It smells really good, but I always try to keep a candle in here as well. As for my monitors, this one right here, my gaming PC is the BenQ 240 Hertz. I love this monitor so much and it has been amazing to be able to play on. I used to have a curved monitor, but I realized that curved monitors really just mess with my head, and I think my gameplay just ended up not being as good, so we have the BenQ 240 hertz, and then I just have two Asus uh, 144 hertz monitors on both of the sides for my streaming PC. And this is my microphone. I have a Rode Procaster, and then I have the, I think this is a PSA 1, I think is what it's called. This is the mic arm. I just have it connected just to the side here um, above my gaming PC. Um, and then I'm able to just like move it, I guess, like however I want. But yeah, this is my mic and I love it. It's honestly amazing. I think the sound quality is super good. Forgot to mention my chair. This is a Herman Miller chair. Um, the Herman Miller Embody Complexity actually hooked it up and got me a Herman Miller chair. This is been a huge lifesaver for my back. Um, I used to have a lot of problems with my back from old gaming chairs, but uh, the Embody chair essentially fixed all of my back problems, so that's pretty sick. But yeah, that's basically it. This is my this is my setup. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and the tour. If you have any specific questions, I will be answering them in the comment section below. If you guys want a get ready with me stream type of video. Also let me know that in the comments. Um, I can sort of show you guys what my routine is for whenever I get ready for stream, how I set things up, what exactly I do. But yeah, if you guys have any specific questions or comments or anything like that, leave it in the comment section below. Also, if you guys are new here, feel free to drop a sub. You can always unsub later, but I am trying to grow my YouTube as uh, as much as I can this year. In 2022, we're really trying to hit YouTube hard. So uh, definitely leave a sub and turn on notifications and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.